am Nihil Oishi and you are watching the Sunday Night Show. Today is our third episode and in this episode we are not going to talk with someone specific. We are going to talk about something specific. I hope you all have heard about Yagi Uda Antenna and even many of you have purchased it. But here Team Oscar would like to suggest that rather than purchasing items, you should homebrew them. Then only you can get better feeling being an amateur. Today, Team Oscar is going to explain the Yagi Uda antenna from head to toe for better understanding. So without any further delay, we will get started. The topic for the day is Yagi Uda antenna. Index. We will follow this index and explain it completely to you one by one. One. History and basics of Yagi Uda antenna. We will know about its brief history, basics of Yagi Uda antenna and what is a Yagi Uda antenna. 2. Structure of Yagi Uda antenna. How the Yagi Uda antenna looks. 3. Elements of Yagi Uda antenna. What are the elements present in a Yagi Uda antenna? 4. Radiation of Yagi Uda antenna. How the Yagi Uda antenna radiates energy. 5. Properties of Yagi Uda antenna. We will see its properties. 6. Advantages of Yagi Uda antenna. What are the benefits of using a Yagi Uda antenna? 7. Disadvantages of Yagi Uda antenna. Along with the advantages, some disadvantages are also there. Application of Yagi Uda antenna. We will see some of its application. History of Yagi Uda Antenna Before we begin, we should get enlightened with its history. Many hams call this antenna a Yagi Antenna, but you should not call this a Yagi Antenna. Why? Here's the reason. It was invented in 1926 by Shintaro Yuda of Tohoku Imperial University, Japan, with the help of his colleague Hidetsugu Yagi. It was the first directional antenna. It was the first antenna designed to cancel out noise or jamming with high gain. The pair Yagi and Uda became to be known as the fathers of antenna. Basics of Yagi Uda antenna. The first thing which you should know before knowing the basics is what is a Yagi Uda antenna. If you will observe your locality with a little care, you will be able to see an antenna used for TV reception in some old households. At least one you will notice. That is a Yagi Uda antenna. A Yagi Uda antenna is a directional antenna with two or more parallel antenna elements in an end fire array. It is a directional antenna. Now, what is a directional antenna? A directional antenna is an antenna which radiates or receives greater power in specific direction. Suppose you're pointing your antenna towards east, then you will be able to hear all the east signals finely. It has operating frequency above 10 megahertz. You can make it bigger than 10 megahertz, but in that case, the size of the Yagi Uda antenna will also increase. Therefore, it is usually 10 megahertz. It can be used for 40 to 60 kilometer distance. It allows you a coverage of 40 to 60 kilometer distance. You can also increase the distance of coverage, but you will also need to increase the gain of the Yagi Uda antenna. It has two types of elements, active element, parasitic element. Actually, the, uh, uh, sorry, actually the Yagi Uda antenna is made up of two elements, active and parasitic. Active elements are those which are connected to power supply and parasitic elements are just the opposite. The ones which are not connected to the power supply. This goes for every antenna. Structure of Yagi Uda antenna. Now let's come to its structure. This is called the boom. This is the reflector. This is the driven element and these all are the directors. This is how it looks and while making one, you have to follow this structure. You cannot just place the directors in place of the driven element. The antenna will not work that way. Elements of Yagi Uda antenna. As I previously said about the parts name, we will now know them in details. Boom. 
the part which holds the elements of antenna this can be made up of pvc pipes or aluminium boom is actually the rod on which the elements are fitted it can be made out of pvc pipes or aluminium driven the driven element is the antenna element to which power is supplied it is normally a half wave dipole or often a folded dipole the driven is the only element which is active that is it is connected to power supply and it is always one a folded dipole is an antenna with two conductors connected on both sides and folded to form a cylindrical closed shape reflector the yagi uda antenna has only one reflector this will reflect all the signal to its opposite side a radiator typically will add around 4 or 5 db of gain in forward direction the thing which you should keep in mind is that a reflector is a parasitic element meaning it is not connected to the power supply director the director is placed in front of the driven element typically each director will add around 1 db of gain but this level reduces as the number of directors increases the director is also a parasitic element and it is always placed at the front the number of uh, the number of directors if the numbers directors will get increased the gain will also increase radiation of yagi uda antenna so here i will be explaining to you how the yagi uda antenna radiates and the picture given on the left has nothing to do with all the radiation patterns radiation pattern changes respect to the elements now here uh just imagine we are only having the driven element as the driven element will radiate energy the front and back loop of the radiation will be bigger but uh, what if we just add a reflector the reflector will radiate all the energy to its opposite direction causing small back loop and major loops but the front loop will be bigger now if we just add a director the front loop radiation will get even sharper and few minor loops will only occur which will be smaller compared to that of the reflector in this way the gain of the yagi uda antenna will be more properties of yagi uda antenna let's know its properties some properties of it are as follows it can have only one driven and reflector but many directors so while making an antenna you will always have to increase the number of directors while keeping the other two static it is real it is relatively broadband it is relatively broadband because of the use of folded dipole it has good front to back ratio it has good front to back ratio because the bandwidth is limited reflectors are resonated at lower frequency and directors are resonated at high frequency compared to that at a driven element advantages of yagi uda antenna some advantages of this antenna are as follows high gain about 7 to 9 db you can obtain high gain about 7 to 9 db it is less expensive if you are going to home brew it then the overall budget will be approximately rupees 1000 to rupees 1200 it is easy to carry that is lightweight if you are having a three element yagi uda then you will understand how much lightweight it is less amount of power is wasted it offers wide bandwidth due to the use of folded dipole disadvantages of yagi uda antenna some disadvantages of this antenna are as follows the gain of antenna is limited around 20 db that means it's not more than 20 db bandwidth of frequency range is somewhat limited you can cover a certain uh, you can you, you will have a certain coverage area not more than that the interference levels are reduced especially from the sides the more you will increase the number of directors the more the interference level will reduce prone to noise it actually makes a lot of noise it is sensitive to frequency applications of yagi uda antenna applications of yagi uda antenna are as follows it is used in high frequency 
3 to 30 megahertz. It is used in very high frequency, 30 to 300 megahertz. It is used in ultra high frequency, 300 to 3000 megahertz. It is used as home TV receiver in some old households. It is used for point-to-point -point communication, used in radio astronomy. Radio astronomy is a study of celestial objects that give off radio waves. Questions and answers. Some question and answers we will see. One, is a long high gain Yagi Uda antenna suitable for digital TV? Yes, but it is difficult to make a Yagi with both high gain and enough bandwidth to cover all the UHF channels. But if it is for one channel, it will be easier. Two, can a Yagi Uda antenna and omnidirectional antenna be built into one and used together? No, they can't be made into one and used together. Actually, a Yagi Uda antenna are directionals and omnidirectional antennas are wheel-like antennas, which can be combined with a directional antenna. Why do we use folded dipoles? It is easier to match impedance. There's less noise on the received signal. Four. The length of the director compared to that of the driven element will be? The length of the director compared to that of the driven element will be smaller. The length of the director is less than the driven element. It is short than half wavelength of the dipole. Five, what is the approximate distance between directors for a Yagi Uda antenna operating at frequency 150 megahertz? The approximate distance will be 0.4 meter. By mathematical calculation, the answer will be 0.4 meter. Six, what is the radiation pattern of a Yagi Uda antenna? Radiation pattern of a Yagi Uda antenna is end fire. Thank you. Always remember that you need to do the calculations very carefully because if you will not do that carefully, the antenna will not work. And the ones who are facing difficulty trying to build a Yagi Uda antenna, don't worry. Soon Team Oscar is going to bring out a tutorial of Yagi Uda antenna. This is all about Yagi Uda antenna. I hope now you will be able to make one for you. And Team Oscar appreciates home brewing. So if you have any doubt, you can either comment down below or email us. Thank you. Stay safe, stay healthy, wear a mask, you sanitize.